So you bought the Xperia 1 Mark IV, and now you find yourself needing a case for it. And you don't know what's out there, what you should spend your money on, what options are good. I'm here to make that really easy for you, and I'm going to tell you about the one that I think is the best case for the phone, and the one that I bought, and in fact, the only one I bought, the Caseology Vault case. Now, last time for the Xperia 1 Mark III, I bought the Caseology Nanopop, but that one's not available right now. This one, in some ways, is actually better, and it's going to be my preferred case, the one I'll carry for this phone. So, Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, Caseology Vault case, and it's actually only $13.99 on Amazon, which is one heck of a fantastic deal, especially if you get Amazon, you get free shipping if you've got Amazon Prime. So, I'm going to go ahead and dive and take a look at this one, and if you're interested in picking one up, there's a link in the description. You can check it out straight away there. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the Caseology Vault case for the Xperia 1 Mark IV. And here we have the Caseology Vault case. It comes in a nice thin box, not a whole lot to it. You can see here on the front, it's clearly got the name Easy Peasy One Piece. Not a two-piece, don't have to put anything together, no craziness. It's just a simple, easy-to-use case right here. And since there's no information on the box, I'll tell you about it personally. So I've been using this. I ordered this before I even bought my phone. I ordered the phone. I ordered this. This showed up quite a while before my phone did, actually. But you always want to make sure you have a case before the phone shows up. That way, as soon as you take it out of the box, you can put it inside of a case, right? So this one right here, it's got the textured back on here. So this helps you hold on to it. It also it kind of has like a corrugated rubber feel to it. It's very very, it's not something that picks up oils or residues anything like that. It's something that always looks nice and clean. And then you get the kind of diagonal line pattern up here as well. Kind of helps it stand out a little bit more, which is cool. And then you've also got raised protection all the way around it. Here, let's go ahead and put the phone in it. Quit talking about it. Bam, easy peasy. Very easy to put the phone in here. Now, one thing you want to pay close attention to here is you see how this is raised up actually higher than the camera. And this is by design. That means that if you take this phone and you place it down on a flat surface, it keeps the surface from coming into contact with your crazy expensive camera. This is the crown jewels of the phone. You wanna make sure it's protected. Also, you have the raised protection right up here as well. So all the way around the phone, you can see there's a slight raised lip that goes up. And this, is, this also helps keep the screen off of surfaces. So definitely put a screen protector on here. And I'll put a link for this glass one down in the description as well with the case link because I bought this, I paid, maybe it was like 10 bucks and I got a three pack. So I'll go ahead and put that one down in the description as well. Nice, simple, easy glass screen protector. It's working well for me. You see it's even got the cutouts for the camera, the sensor, all that jazz. And then down here, it kind of goes up a little bit and here it's kind of recessed. So what that does is it doesn't impede the sound coming out of the speakers, which is really good. So you got raised protection on the front for the screen, Race protection on the back for the camera. You got a nice cutout for the fingerprint sensor slash power button. Now, here's something I want to educate you on because some people ask me, can you use an Xperia 1 Mark III case on an Xperia 1 Mark IV? And you cannot. As you can see here, the power button cutout is actually slightly higher on the Xperia 1 Mark III case versus the 4. And I actually like this because it's a little bit lower. You don't have to reach up quite as high and adjust your grip to get to the power button. So I do like that. Nice and easy. Easy to set up your fingerprint. And then you've got nice clicky volume button here. Yeah, whenever the phone first came out, I was surprised because it's such a small volume button. I mean, look at that. It, it looks like just one volume button like you would find on some phones. But no, uh, that's the entire volume rocker. You can hear this little bit of click to it. It's got a nice tactile click to it. Very easy to use. And then you get a big port cut, cut out here for the USB-C charging port on the bottom. So that's nice. Sometimes you can have case cases like, for instance, here's my iPhone 13 Pro case, and it's got a very, very small cutout for the lightning port. So the bigger the port, the more stuff you can plug in. I do like that nice, easy access. And then you've also got the little lanyard loop over here. So if you want to put the little wrist strap on there, you can go ahead and do that. It doesn't come with the case, but you can buy one. And then you get a nice cutout for the microphone on top and for the headphone jack as well. All around, it's a nice case. It's also wireless charging compatible. So put on a wireless charger and Bob's your uncle you're cooking with gas and you're ready to go. So overall, I think it's a great phone. The only thing you might need to worry about here is drop protection. The whole mil standard rating thing has kind of gone away from a lot of cases over the last few years because it doesn't really mean a whole lot. It just means they dropped it from four feet a bunch of times and it held up. This one, I think probably will do that well. I wouldn't drop it personally because, well, it's an expensive phone. I don't do drop tests with phones because I pay for these things and it costs a lot of money and I'm gonna do everything in my life to try not to drop it not to make a sensationalist video about dropping my phone. So, 
Overall, I think it's a solid case. I think it provides adequate protection, no problem. Also, you've got the dedicated button right here for the camera as well. So everything you need here, $13.99. I think it's one heck of a case. And yeah, it lets you do everything you need to do, keep your phone protected, and that's what we want it for. And again, this is the Caseology Vault case. Link down in the description if you're interested. And that's all for now. All right, so that's about it on my review of the Caseology Vault case for the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV. Again, I think it's a fantastic case. This is my only case. It's the only one I bought for. It's going to be my go-to. And it's got plenty of texture, plenty of grip, nice openings for the buttons, and it's not difficult on the wallet. It's not something you have to go spend $20, $30, $40 on. Caseology has been around for a long time. I bought quite a few of their cases in the past, and I think that this is a solid one, enough so that I made a video about it because, hey, you bought the expensive phone, you want to get a case, you don't know which one to buy, this is the one that I recommend, and I think it's a solid case. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please go out in the comment section. I will get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.